You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a familiar face to cable. Um, last year and the last, we were into the fourth year of Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes, and one of the premier participants, how's that, is Alexandra Avedesian. I said it right? You said it perfectly. Okay. You have such a great manner with people and what you've done with this event in the, the last couple of years, and the Brockton Neighborhood Health Center is a big, big, big part of it. What I'm talking about is Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes. It starts on Saturday, June 6th with a kickoff event, and it ends on Saturday, June 13th with a walk slash run at the DW Field Park. Um, and Dave Gorman, who does kids road races, is coordinating that. The Y is involved, Signature Healthcare is involved, Neighborhood Health Center is involved. But in between, kind of sandwiched in between the two events, is a whole series of workshops where every day from Monday through Saturday, something's happening. Tell us about it. Yes, so in the fourth year of Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes, uh, we are incredibly excited about this year's events. Uh, the events uh, during the week, Monday through Friday, um, have a whole series of topics from nutrition to movement and exercise to uh, living with diabetes, uh, diabetes prevention, um, how does a family work together to either improve the life of a family member with diabetes or prevent the family from getting uh, diabetes. So we're really looking um, to uh, reach out to our whole community and offer many different uh, opportunities and events that whole week. And we hope that will work. Now, diabetes is something that um, if you're like me and you found out you had it, type 2, you start off thinking it's a death sentence. You thought, how can I ever eat anything I like? How can I ever enjoy anything I like without cheating? Okay? Well, you can't eat the pizza, the pasta, the carbs, the rice, the breads. You can't drink anything you want to drink, and you can't have all the desserts that you want to have, which is fine because there's a lot of stuff that you can make. My wife has figured out a million ways to make things with, with um, you know, the artificial sweeteners, different ones, some better than others, okay? <laughs> the exercise is my part. We, 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 we're going to also talk to Frank McDonald with the Old Colony Y. We're doing a whole show on this. This is just to whet your appetite. But it crosses cultural lines. It crosses ethnicities. It sex, everything like that. It's not just... Um, you know, thinking that, okay, 50 plus disease. It's, it's epidemic all over the country, not just in Brockton. And uh, there's all sorts of stuff that you're working in that week. There's, there's something for everybody that day. I, I, I understand there's four to five events on any given day. Most definitely, four to five events, and from 10 o'clock in the morning till six o'clock at night. Uh, as you mentioned, the Y is a huge, huge, huge um, participant in this uh, event this year. They're spearheading it. And uh, during the Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes, they offer um, free use of, of their uh, facilities. So it really is hoping to reach everyone in the community. Um, we didn't mention this yet. It's all free. Everything. All the events are free. If you can register, and Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes has a wonderful website, um, please go ahead and register. If you can't, please show up. There will be space uh, for anyone and everyone who is interested in the events all week long. If I remember right, there's all sorts of there's, there's goodies. There's materials, written material. There's charts. There's you know fun stuff. There's and it's it's not just it's it's kids too because there's type one which is juvenile diabetes that you're born with, mm -hmm. correct? Make mm -hmm. sure I'm saying the right thing. And then there's the type two that some people call it adult onset, but you can get it if, even, when, even yeah. when you're younger, if right. you're not careful. And if you look around, uh, we go all the way up to the White House with the First Lady talking about fitness and healthy eating and everything like that. Um, I'm kind of wetting your appetite for this event, but I understand the Neighborhood Health Center is involved in something very exciting with uh, the brand new Vincente's supermarket that's opening not too far from BCA and the health center over on Warren and Pleasant. 
And you guys, there's, there's like a satellite site to the health center there that's like the add-on part of what used to be, as we all knew it, the old Star Market and the old mm -hmm. A&P back in the day. Tell us about that too. So that really fits into the Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes and how, um, how excited uh, Brockton Neighborhood Health Center is to be a part of that and also to be opening this new site. Um, the corner of uh, Pleasant Street in Warren has forever been a food desert. So um, that has been a vacant lot uh, that, as you said, used to be an A&P or a star market. Um, but for many years, at least 14 that I've worked in Brockton, it has been vacant. Um, food deserts are places in uh, an area that have very limited access to food and or to healthy food. So Vicente's, um, is doing an amazing job of renovating that space that used to be a market and building a much bigger market than the one they're operating now. We are building a primary care site next door and it's gonna have a state of the art cooking kitchen in it, which is really gonna to offer to our patients and to the community information about how not only to cook, but how to cook and cook healthy meals that are enjoyable and that are also um, culturally known and culturally acceptable. Well, we're looking, we're looking for a satellite kitchen. So I have a feeling this might be a good marriage between the two organizations. We've already had a few little, little talks, but um, I know Vincentes has been talking about tropical, not, not tropical, but, but healthy, healthy eating, okay? And he's bringing in, in the former food desert, healthy foods. We're talking the fruits and the vegetables. And one thing we're also talking about is not just your average fruits and vegetables that you would get at a supermarket chain, right. but this is, uh, it's also culturally uh, diverse because people don't eat all the same fruits and vegetables in Cape Verde or in Haiti or, but right here in Brockton, it's all gonna come together in one place. Most definitely, most definitely. And we're really excited. Um, I mean, the Barbosa family has been amazing in partnering with the Health Center. Uh, the Health Center recently um, hired a registered dietitian. Mm -hmm. So the registered dietitian will be spearheading with Dr. Azam, who is the doctor um, who is overseeing our new site. Um, but we all, Vicente's Market, the Health Center, will be partnering together to really bring all of these pieces together to not just tell our patients or tell the um, community, you can eat healthy things or you can live better, but we're really going to bring that all together so that patients and the community knows what are their options and how can they make a meal that they may, may have been making forever, but make it so that it is um, healthier and may be one step in the direction of preventing whether it's obesity or diabetes, hypertension, but really improving the lives of our members. Are they involved in the knockdown diabetes right now? I, I know I jumped a little bit ahead. That's okay. So uh, as I said, the Barbosa family has been incredibly um, uh, participative in many things that the health center has done. So I have reached out to them in regards to Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes, um, and they are really excited to be a part of this year's event. Um, they've been hosting um, cooking tours and cooking less uh, cooking groups that the health center has orchestrated at their market, and they're really excited to have those same events at a bigger brand new market. Brand new, okay. Well, I could talk to you forever. You've done wonderful work. We're gonna have you back. We're gonna do a whole panel discussion on this. Thank you for doing what you do. Thank you so much for having us. Okay. And I'm so excited to see how this fourth year comes together. It'll be great. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, people, places, and faces right here in the City of Champions.